following is brought to you by the realagriculture.com mobile app. Go to realagriculture.com backslash mobile app for more information on the Android, Blackberry, iPhone, and iPad version. Okay, Luke, we're standing in front of the brand new Kinsey planter. Uh, let's kind of explore and talk about some of the innovations and new technologies you have on it that really make, really make the difference. Exactly, uh, Sean. You, this is uh, the Kinsey 4900 model planter. We're introducing it to the public here at this show. And, and just about everything you're looking at is new and exciting and innovative about this planter. The first thing we want to show is, uh, as you can see here, we're demonstrating by having this wing up in the air, the amount of flex that this planter has built in. We have 43, 32 degrees of flex built in, 21 degrees up, 21 degrees down. And the benefit of having that amount of flex is that you still get very high accuracy when you're planting even on terraces or, or sloped ground or, or those kinds of things. So the flex is very, very important. It's a front fold planter, which is, uh, you know, people like that uh, it, because it's a 30 inch only planter. So in other words, the row spacing is 30 inches, uh, which is what you see here. Uh, lots of innovations in the frame itself. We lifted the frame. Uh, up to 24 inches off the ground instead of 20 inches. So if, uh, if farmers are using uh, no-till conditions, uh, this gives them just a little bit more clearance for those stalks and it, it doesn't uh, uh, you know, push the chains off the drives, etc. So it's very only, important. It's only 30 inches, but how about uh, how many rows? That, this great question, this binder comes in 12 rows or 16 rows or 24 rows. So depending on your operation, we have the planter to match your operation. Up on top there, we uh, we changed uh, the, the bulk tanks, as you can yeah. see, uh, 120 uh, bushels capacity. We changed their shape so that you would have a great natural flow towards the entrainer, which is at the at the bottom in the front. That's what distributes the seed to in each individual row unit using air pressure to do. And it looks very modern. It's moved <laughs> it away from kind of the traditional bubble. It, it is. We act, I'll let you into a secret. We actually used a design house that uh, designs uh, automobiles and uh, uh, personal watercraft and, and vehicles and stuff like that. And we used them to design the shape of these tanks after our engineers gave them what the requirements were as far as openings and closings and drop off. In a tank, the drop, in other words, the angle towards the front of the tank is very important. That's what gives the seed that's inside it a natural flow towards the entrainer, which is at the, at the front of the tank, and that's what distributes it uh, to the rest of the planter. What about the actual uh, uh, row itself? As yes. As the, you know, the accuracy and the precision. How is that structured? We are, we are making very strong claims with this planter. We're promising 99% plus accuracy. Uh, at speeds between two and eight miles an hour. That is unheard of in our industry. And if you go look at our test stand, you'll see that we're getting 100% after 100% after 100%. How we did that is with this. We uh, introduced a whole new meter. We call this the 4000 series meter. And just about everything about this is new from the seed pool that you see here. That's where the seed gets into uh, the planter itself to the, uh, the shape of the disc. Let me open this up here. Uh, the disc itself. <clears throat> On here you see these seed channels have been redesigned. That's what agitates the seed as it is in the seed pool so they don't stick together. And then here you actually have the seed holes themselves. This happens to be a corn disc, a 40 cell corn disc. And you can see that the seed cells are raised or elevated from these seed channels. That's to make sure that you just have one seed at a time on this disc, not multiple seeds. Then inside the meter, uh, we have a new uh, singulator. Uh, that's what this is. And what the singulator does, and it's adjustable here, whether you're planting, as you can see as I move this, this singulator moves up and down. That's what knocks off any seeds. That, if you happen to have two seeds on the cell, this will knock them off. And then we change where we drop the seed into the seed tube. We drop it at exactly the three o'clock position. This is what's going to give you a nice even spacing between your seeds so they don't ricochet down as you drop them down uh, the center of the seed tube. The biggest innovation is right here. This meter is an electrically driven meter. This is the electric motor that drives this thing. 
you can see the little gear drive there that fits right into this uh, ring gear in the uh, disc itself. It travels in here and now I have the opportunity to individually drive each meter at its own speed, vary the speed, switch it on and off at the at the speed of, of electricity, of course. So, that, that, that's, 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 <laughs> this is an enormous innovation. Uh, this changes the field because obviously the benefit is one, if you if you look at the machine, look at all the things that you don't have to have anymore. No drive shafts, no gears, no clutches, no bearings. All that stuff is gone because you don't need to because each meter is driven at each row individually. So maintenance requirements <laughs> just went down here went down huge and accuracy uh, possibility went up huge to use your terminology. Uh, that's how we can promise these kinds of accuracies because an electric motor can keep up with the amount of seed you need to drop. If you're planting beans at 150,000 per acre, you can imagine just how fast this meter has to go and still be accurate and give you that precise depth and spacing between your individual seeds. Major innovation. You're very welcome, Sean. Thank you for stopping by.